What's up, YouTube? I'm back at local state with Tyler, who came third with his uh, Ubel deck. I'll let you take it away, mate. Okay, so with the current meta, I was a bit unsure what to play. Um, but with the new support coming out for Ubel and a lot of it stuff being uh, in Phantom Nightmare, I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, for the main deck, I've seen a lot of people. Uh, play like all three U Bells, so U Bell and Terran Carnet. Uh, from my today, I've learned that I have to play Ultimate Nightmare because this leaves the field quite often against um, the new uh, one of the new decks, uh, which I forgot what it's called, uh, the Ritual deck. That you might know in the comments um but yeah i only played the two because i thought the third one would come up but turns out it will so that's one of the changes i'd make um play three spirit of your bell uh essentially just battle fader um and it's part of your mainline combo uh, you have to play three of these because you need so much of the resources uh, I played one guy's column, uh, not many people were playing it, uh, it came out once um, and allowed me to win the game, uh, but a life point game is relevant and the fact that you can special summon spirit and then obviously you get a spirit's effect and then you just sort of carry on with your mainline combo even if you brick. If you're going down the uh, dark, uh, play three Lotus, uh, it's one of your main card starters, uh, really strong, and it's hand trap effect, oh not hand trap effect, um, monster negate effect comes up very often, especially with the current format. Uh, I play a little package of stuff to support Unchained, which I have currently already uh, got in main. Uh, just three Tour Guide and Rhino. Uh, in the extra deck I have a couple of Unchained cards, which still get used to engines. Uh, another little engine is two Beckoning Beasts. Uh, also play the... Uh, where is it? Two Spirit Gates. Uh, I didn't, wasn't really sure what this package did at the very beginning. Uh, this package does a lot for the deck, uh, adds a lot more support, and the fact that you can just continuously grab your resources back from Grave uh, just helps the deck a lot. Uh, the Unchained stuff, one blue, one, one red, uh, comes up a lot, and Blue is very good for discard fodder, and it comes up a lot to gain resources. Uh, hand traps, I only played the three Ash and then the three Shifter. Uh, Shifter shuts off quite a fair amount of decks this format, so that's why I thought I'd main it. Um, but obviously, in, if you go against something like Flu, which people do play at the locals, uh, you also side this out for something way better. But yeah, it comes up a lot. Uh, for the spells, play three pain. This card m makes the deck entirely. Um, the fact that you can destroy your bell in hands, then get Terra Incarnate straight away. Uh, makes any sort of brick like your bell or Terra Incarnate just a lot better. And also the fact that they have to, while it remains on the field, they have to attack you, Bell, and then they take the damage as well, which is very relevant. Uh, three Super Poly, uh, just a good ball breaker and can be searched as well. Uh, for consistency reasons, I played Prosperity. Uh, nothing else to say about that. Uh, it's a last minute addition uh, to talents because you get there's a lot of hand traps in this format. Uh, people run about 15 in main, uh, so if anything does get stopped and you have this in hand, you can just sort of carry on. 
the one for one. Uh, didn't see it at all today, um, but during testing it has come up a lot, and I definitely recommend playing this if you're playing this deck. Uh, for the traps, I played one uh, chamber. Was debating between this and escape, uh, but I need the more resources on the fort and the field uh, rather than the dis destruction. Um, so that's why I got this one instead. I might change it later on. Uh, play the one eternal favourite. I am also playing one in the side, uh, just for the grind games, because I feel like against certain decks you're not going to go into the grind games that often. So if you do feel like you are going to, it's always nice to have the extra one in the side. And I'm trying to get the deck down as much as possible to try and improve consistency. Uh, another hand trap is the three impum as well, just generically good. Uh, for the extra, uh, three loving defender. Uh, literally the best card to summon, either off some super poly or just eternal favorites. Uh, the effects it produces and the burn damage as well can win you games just in by itself. Uh, my super volley target is uh, one Mud Dragon, one Garua, and one Dragostopelia. I was playing more, uh, but they weren't coming up enough in testing, uh, so I've just stuck to these three just based on the current format. Uh, for the links, I'm playing the one Almirage, uh, in case you get stuck on the normal summon, and the normal summon gets impumped, which it did happen today. So if you normally summon Dark Vecna Beast, you are kind of stuck there. So it's always good. Uh, link 2s, I've got SP, Dark Charmer, and Muckcracker. Uh, these two come up way more often than I thought, and SP is good for the Unchained package, and generically. Uh, the Unchained stuff is just Shivara and Soul of Rage. Was playing the Red and Abomination, uh, but needed space, so I just cut them straight back down because uh, these two are the only relevant ones, in my opinion. Uh, Xyz. Uh, didn't make this today, uh, but obviously, you are playing Blue and Red Dog, uh, so you sometimes. During testing, I came up with boards where I'm just having Untamed stuff, uh, so this would not have been bad if I had it. Uh, I just recently got it today, um, but I definitely think you need to play this, just even if it's the case, just for good prosperity targets. Um, boost off max for your OTK. And not many people playing this, but uh, Typhon. You have a lot of zero attack stuff, so when you're sit when you're sitting only with the zero attack and you get stopped, you can just straight summon this uh, because I'm assuming they've already popped off, and it's probably one of the better mm, floodgate kind of like cards to have. Um, for side, I play. Triple Bell, Triple Crow, Triple Nib, uh, those are all the hand traps, uh, there's a lot of diversity in the format, so I like to have a diverse hand trap ratio, uh, there's Dark World and stuff like that comes up, um, but yeah, uh, four back row hate, two lightning storm, and three cosmic, because uh, you have to respect back row, especially with a lot of the ritual stuff, and uh, labyrinths are still a thing, so you have to be worried about that. And then the one eternal favourite I mentioned earlier, um, so I did it in a couple times, but most of the time it was just sort of nibs for more combo oriented, or it was Troll for uh, Dark World. Uh, but yeah, that is the list. Like I said, I would add the uh, third 
new bell card um, and probably take out Gunnar Skullum. But I th believe those are the only changes I can really think of. But yeah, that's the list. Thank you for doing the deck profile, Tyler. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay tuned for more content. Cheers, thank you for watching.